What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I'm the Malta Activist, and today we have uh, something special in our hand. You've seen the title and the thumbnail. I'm, of course, talking about this Macallan 18 year old double cask. <laughs> And now before we begin, I just want to welcome our first time users. Thanks for clicking into the channel to get your whiskey fix. I'm the Malt Activist and uh, you will find everything cool here. Everything related to whiskey, whether it's rants, whether it's tastings, whether it's reviews, whether it's vlogs, uh, whether it's discussions and everything else in between you'll find on this channel. So if you like the sound of what you're hearing, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is a win-win situation. To my returning viewers, thank you so much. You will always be uh, special and have a have an amazing place, special place in my heart. And for that, I thank you. However, my biggest shout out goes to Yong Go. Yong Go has the distinction of being my first ever member who has joined the channel. It is unbelievable. I have no words. This is the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, this is uh, Young Go. He's the very, very first. He's put his, uh, he's put his faith in me, and I really, really appreciate the patronage. You have no idea how much this means to me. So thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this just means we are in this together to make this channel uh, even better than it is right now, and to grow it even more. Uh, for those of you who might be interested in in supporting this channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. Click on it, uh, and if you if you if you like what you see, then please consider joining. Um, alternatively, uh, you can log in to my Patreon as well, uh, where I promise you exclusive content at least one day before anybody else, along with some other perks as well. Anyway, so with that out of the way, let's get on with the tasting. Now I'm going to admit McAllen gets a lot of flack on this channel uh, and it's not because I don't like McAllen, that's far from the truth. Uh, in fact, some of my best and most cherished memories drinking whiskeys are with McAllen. They're the most generous people at the distillery. Uh, absolutely amazing. I, I remember I, when I visited them, I called ahead and I said, I'm coming over, I'm the malt activist. Uh, somebody in, in my local market, one of their brand ambassadors, they organized the event for me. It was me and three other guys. So the four of us rocked up at the distillery and they showed us the most lovely time around the distillery. Uh, we drank some absolutely amazing uh, expressions uh, that day. They were uh, just gorgeous. Uh, and then we had lunch at Easter Elkie's house. It was, in my opinion, one of the most perfect days uh, that I could uh, imagine. Uh, drinking whiskey with buddies at this gorgeous distillery and drinking some gorgeous whiskeys. The reason McAllen gets flack on this channel is because we expect more from McAllen and I don't think uh, that's an unfair expectation, right? Because I've tasted, I've tasted good McAllen's and some of, some of the very good whiskeys I've tasted have been McAllen's. And there's a reason why they were known as the Rolls Royce of whiskeys. Okay, there's a reason because the spirit they made was, it was just sublime. Okay, and I've tasted that spirit. You know, I've tasted that old school spirit and it is absolutely gorgeous. What I have a problem with, with McAllen, is when they churn out these travel retail that are one dimensional, right? Like the McAllen Quest or the Sienna, or, or Sienna or Sierra, I forget the name, um, Amber, for example. Or we just did a few uh, tastings the other day. There was the Lumina. There was uh, a night on Earth, a day on, a day in the night, a night in the day of Earth. Oh, sorry, a night on Earth. Sorry, I'm. They shouldn't name those whiskeys so complicated. So, a night on Earth, Lumina, the the classic cut. Uh, again, very very average whiskeys. You know, they didn't pack the oomph and and the and the and the heritage and the pedigree that is McAllen was not found in those whiskeys. I remember falling in love with the McAllen Ten Cost Strength 
many, many, many years ago, more than a decade ago, and thinking, oh my God, if this is what whiskeys taste like, then sign me up for, for this, uh, for this dastardly uh, hobby uh, that's going to drain all my resources and leave me uh, penniless. But um, uh, but today, when I drink uh, McAllen's, I expect that same level of uh, of pedigree and quality from them. And when I don't find it, I get upset, and that's why they get the flag. Not because I hate them, but because I expect more from them, right? But here's what I think is the case, right? McAllen has said, listen. We are a premium, 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 premium brand. Okay, we have some whiskeys that cost a million dollars to buy. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. If you want to drink our whiskey, but you're not willing to pay the money for it, well, here's some one dimensional stuff for you to satisfy your craving. Um, and the fact is, I make up, or people like me make up maybe 0.1% of the whiskey drinking population that scrutinize each whiskey and then and 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 analyze each whiskey and you know just chop it up into little pieces uh, and then consume it with a mind of a of a detective yeah we are we're not their target market right the target market for McAllen or for any other whiskey is the regular dude who's walking through the airport he's like hey i've heard McAllen. uh i've heard of McAllen. McAllen is supposed to be a good whiskey let me grab that and he brings it home he puts some ice in it and he drinks it and he goes hey that's quite nice it's quite smooth i like it and i'm absolutely fine with it okay those are the people that are filling the McAllen coffers and i get it and that's their absolute right okay However, when it comes to when it comes to opinionated people like me who are judgmental and who uh, who demand who demand quality from everything that they drink, um, when 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 I drink stuff like this, ah, it makes me upset. And when it makes me upset, I rant. And when I rant, ah, oh, it it just shows. Uh, and I and I rant with disappointment. I never rant with anger, uh, and which is which is what I'm doing kind of right now. So. Uh, so that's what happens. This is so. I just want to clarify that that's my relationship with McAllen. I, every time I pick up a bottle, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to like this whiskey. This whiskey is going to blow me away because I know what McAllen can do, and I've drunk some some McAllens that have blown my mind. So come on, do this. Blow my mind. And when it doesn't blow my mind, ah, it's a real kick in the teeth. So okay, with that out of the way. <laughs> Let's focus on what we have today. We have with us the McCallum, 18 years old. This is the double cask. Yes, sir. Which means it's uh, matured in two different casks, uh, American oak and European oak seasoned with Olorosa sherry. So this is what happened. Uh, McCallum uh, commissioned some uh, Casks made of American oak, new oak, uh, and then European oak, uh, and then they dumped uh, Olorosa sherry in it for up to you know uh, seasoning can take any uh, you know uh, as long as two months to a couple of years, uh, so it really depends. Uh, and uh, normally uh, virgin oak is quite active, so it takes in a lot. So you don't need to season it for too long, but you know uh, I, I suspect anywhere between six to six months to a year is is a good seasoning. Uh, time frame. So the whiskey that we have is uh, released in 2021. 2021 release, uh, and uh, which means this was probably uh, this was probably there you go. Sorry, this was probably uh, laid to rest in 2002. I'm going to guess or 2001 roughly. But yes, so 18 years old in uh, European and American oak, seasoned with Olorosa sherry, and then married together and bottled for our benefit. Now, I love, I love the shape of McAllen bottles. They're the sleekest, most amazing bottles. Seriously, like they're my absolute favorite shape of a bottle. Like they're so classy. I love that about them. Absolutely nothing wrong with this with this design and this shape. So beautiful, so elegant. I will hand this to McCallum that their optics, oh, I mean, look at this box. Lovely box. Not too fancy, but you know, nice box, opens up like this, it's quite cool. Ooh, a lot of literature at the back. 
yeah there you go uh like this box really nice uh so yes whatever mccallan do um it's very very pretty it's very classy uh, including their new distillery which is just oh gorgeous um but sometimes the spirit does not live up to it however we have with us this 18 year old and you know what i said i said listen man uh, this is what I, th I think this is what McAllen is thinking is hey if you want to if you want if you want to drink McAllen uh, and you don't want to pay the money for it then here's what we're going to give you uh, and these, these whiskeys are going to be like one dimensional and whatever but if you pay the big bucks then we'll deliver on that promise and give you something that is absolutely sublime um, which I think could be the case with this 18 year old So this is natural colored. McAllen does not color their whiskeys. I made a mistake in one of my videos where I previously said that uh, one of the McAllen whiskeys was colored uh, and it was not. So I would like to retract that statement. I unfortunately am not 100% sure whether this is chill filtered or not. Um, so I'm not really sure. It's at 43%, could be chill filtered. <sighs> it is what it is. So, what do we know about this whiskey? We know it's 18 years old, it's bottled at 43% and it's a double cask maturation with uh, American and European oak seasoned with Oloroso. Okay, so well done. We know all that about this whiskey. The color is absolutely spectacular. I'm loving this color, there you go. Just such a deep, beautiful bronze. I love the, I love the color on this. Yes, what a beautiful nose. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, candied ginger, figs, cinnamon, red fruits, dark fruits, stewed apples, touch of banana. <sighs> love it, absolutely love it. Let's see what the literature says. What is so they say dried fruits, ginger and toffee with rich orange and hints of clove with nutmeg. Yeah, so similar to what I um, I get on the nose, I get, I get a bit more of the of the cooked or stewed fruits uh, in this. Uh, definitely big big on clove. Should have mentioned that first. Yeah, definitely big on clove and nutmeg. Yeah, this is a very very nice nose, very controlled. It's. There's no off note here. That means this is great cask selection. No sherry in this. Uh, what did I say? No sulfur in this. Which is my biggest pet peeve. Yeah, absolutely no off notes. Good knows this. Okay, I guess there's nothing left for me to do but dance. Oh, thank you, McAllen. This was an absolute joy, I have to say. Um, dark raisins, sultanas, chocolate cake, rum cake, Christmas cake. Uh, again, dark and milk chocolate, lots of cinnamon, lots of spices like clove and nutmeg. Super oily, massive finish. Mm, and that and a perfect hint of oak. Ooh, wow. This is a spectacular dram. I'm absolutely loving this. Mm. Second sip is more cigar box, leather and tobacco. Oh, so good. Oh, perfect. I love it. It's awesome. It's uh, tasty. It delivers uh, on, on everything that it promises and uh, definitely not chill filtered because the that luscious creamy mouthfeel that I got was just mm, so good. 
Wow. So, yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, McAllen, for making a whiskey like this that uh, we can drink and enjoy and uh, love it. However, if you do want to drink this, I think you have to shell around 250 to 300 pounds for this whiskey, which is a lot of money to spend on uh, an 18 year old. I I'll grant you that. But is it worth it? Wow. I don't know how to answer that question. Um, it's worth it if you can afford it. And if you can't, then I guess it's not. Um, I certainly can't afford to spend 300 pounds on an 18 year old whiskey, uh, even, uh, despite it tasting very, very good. So yeah, maybe I won't uh, buy it because my budget doesn't allow it. But you know, if you have 300 pounds to spare, 250, 300 pounds, whatever that number is. Uh, if you have that, that much money to spare on this uh, whiskey, then I suggest buy it. I think it's great. In fact, like if I were to give it a rating, I'd give it a very, very healthy 8 A minus. Yeah, which is good, which is well above an average whiskey. In fact, it's a, it's a very, very good whiskey in my opinion. So 8 um, uh, and A minus, I think is a good, fair rating for this whiskey. As far as the price is concerned, that's something we'll have to, you know, check our check our budgets and decide if this is something we want to splurge on, because it's definitely a splurge. But it's a joy to drink. It's a great dram. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. If you like crisp, sherry matured whiskeys with the, with an elegance that can only come from age, then the Macallan 18 is the whiskey to buy. Absolutely no two ways about it. Do I wish uh, all Macallans tasted this good? Yes. Do I wish uh, that we wouldn't get upset and uh, give them grief because uh, some of the stuff that they produce is well below par? Yes, I wish we didn't have to do that. But you know what? We bring the truth and that is the most important thing. So, there you go. So thank you, thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. I'm the Malt Activist, until next time, peace.